You know, the Vol Nation is just, it's, uh, it's strong. You know, I mean, our fan base is loyal. I've been going to the games uh, since I was three years old. My dad started taking me. Um, I've had the opportunity to start taking my son since they've been three. So it's a family tradition to, to go to the games every year, tailgate with friends. I started selling hot dogs uh, when I was in sixth grade. So I guess when I was 12 years old, uh, my mom and my stepdad told me I could earn a little bit extra money. So I started going to Nayland every Saturday and selling hot dogs. And I did that up until my freshman year of high school. I've been a Vol fan ever since I moved to Tennessee, which was back in 1985. So moved to Nashville. My stepdad was a UT alum, so it sort of was ingrained in me that way. Always was a fan of sports. Um, so when I moved to Nashville, it was sort of the next thing to go to college, and Tennessee was top of my list. Six men, seven, five, six. Because there was so much hype involved when Kiffin came to town, a lot of people didn't want to repeat the process by hyping it up when you know we're really in uncertain times. But I believe the hype will naturally return based on the efforts and the successes that we see with Coach Dooley. You know, Southern people are you know avid about Southern football and SEC football, and it's we're a different breed, and we're we're loyal when we're winning, when we're not winning, when we're struggling, they're still here, they're still supporting their team, they're still coming out and it's it's more about the tradition of being together and having a good time and just having fun. Um, you know, I mean this is a program that's never lost 8 games in a season. Yet if you told most people that Tennessee would go 6 and 6 this season, I think most people would take it. Uh, I think there's a realism, I think there's an expect uh, an understanding of the situation the program's in. Oh, as a diehard Vol fan, I expect them to win every game as always, but I'll understand if they don't. I'm very nervous going into the season. Your expectations aren't very high. Um, you just want to enjoy them, you know, enjoy the games, watch them play. I think there's a lot of uncertainty. I think there's a lot of talent, but it's young, and I don't think there's a lot of great backup talent. And I think Tennessee has been able to plug in really talented backups if they've had issues. I don't think they have that luxury this season. I feel good. I think Derek Dooley is the most intelligent coach we've had here in a very long time. It's going to be fun to watch our team because you'll be able to see players develop uh, week in and week out, get better each week. Uh, so I think it's always fun to watch young, talented players grow and get better. If the players' responses are any indication, um, I fully believe that we can come out strong and surprise a lot of people. The, my members of the Big Orange Army are ready to march to Nayland Stadium just like they do every year. They've got a closet full of orange, they're ready to put it on, and they're ready to come down here and support their teams once again. Uh, there just won't be any uh, any of the shirts that you saw last year with what's his name's face on them. From July and August of last year to this year, our sales are up about 51 percent. So, and I attribute that just to the loyal following that the, you know, the great UT fans have, and in the history of Hound Dogs here in Knoxville, and uh, a better selection of merchandise. I think people are excited. I think people are using this as a uh, a way to get out and have a mini vacation instead of you know people have had to. You know, cut back. Well, I think the economy is the biggest thing. You know, for everybody that did not renew their season tickets this year, we called them and asked, and a lot of them said, "Well, it's either the economy, I can't afford it, or it's the you know, I'm an aging fan base, and I'm just too old to get up those steps in Neyland Stadium. So, I, unfortunately, I'm not able to renew my tickets." I think those are two biggest things. Obviously, team performance is a factor. I, I kind of expect them to win seven games. Um, I know a lot of people have taken them to go, you know, six and six. I, I don't know. I hope we can do better than everybody says we can do, but I think we'll be do. I think we'll do great. We're all ranked number one right now, no matter what the preseason ranking says. For all the seniors, for at the end of the season, for a lot of them, it's going to be the last time they ever put on a helmet. So, you know, cherish this year, just do the best you can, and I'm with you regardless of how many games we win or lose. The guys that are still here wear the orange with pride, and that's all I ask, is go out and play 110%, and we'll be right behind you every step of the way. We don't care who the coach is. We don't care what your record is. We're behind you. We support you. We love the volunteers.